am often thinking about how the viewer is going to interact with the shapes, with the colors. I want people to feel a connection, like I recognize something and I feel touched by it in a way, and that's, that's what I'm trying to do. My name is Rachel Gross. I am a printmaker, an artist, and I live in Heartland, Vermont. I think living in Vermont has been really great for me, partially because of the community. When I was in graduate school, I was doing a lot of more representational work and drawings of furniture, but still kind of interested in architectural spaces. And then I started sort of moving more towards abstraction. When I started doing more relief printmaking, I would cut out shapes out of uh, thin plywood and print them on paper. And I became very attached to the shapes themselves and the plywood and that kind of um, led me to make shaped panels and then sometimes even um, collaging parts of the prints onto the panels. This was actually sort of like a silk screen monotype and then I cut it into pieces and I'm going to print on top of it. So it's sort of like, um, you know, using some old ephemera and then using it as background texture. So um, yeah, I'll just sort of figure out what shapes work together and then what, you know, see how it kind of combines to form something new and how it, how the different layers create new spaces. I try not to think too much like, okay, this is going to be about this. I, I, I feel I have trust in, in sort of the process that, that these meanings, these connections will emerge through the process. Um, if I can kind of engage people in, in the work in the way that, you know, that I'm feeling engaged in it myself. It's like that idea like, that you can kind of create this like little space to enter. And you know, it's like wavered back and forth from like making that more explicit in terms of the representational or you know, whether it's just a sense of like, you know, through the geometry or color of a more abstract piece.